Where the hell have you been? I was about to ask you the same question. Out on a venom trial. Didn't Doreen give you the message? I've only just got in. From where? A meeting with the chairman of Red Line. Red Line? Why? He's interested in us distributing their sea power range. Huh. I don't want to get lumbered with them. We won't get lumbered, Ken. They're quality boots. Uh, maybe, but I don't want them anywhere around here. Well, Sir Edward Freer does. I also had a meeting with him. What are you playing at, Sarah? Not playing at anything. You outlined plans you had for the company, so I thought I'd outline mine. And it just so happens that Sir Edward agrees with me that we should concentrate on distribution before trying to get into manufacturing. I don't give a damn what Sir Edward thinks. His investment's at risk. That doesn't give him any right to tell me how to run the company. Exactly. We've got to run it our way. Ah. So that's what you're up to, is it? I'm not doing things your way, Ken. Not anymore. And you'd be doing yourself a big favour if you remembered that. Otherwise, other shareholders might intervene. Don't threaten me, Sarah. I mean it, Ken. You'd better start clearing everything you plan for this company with me. Then, uh, I'm sure we'll get along fine. Now I'm going to check if the last of McIntyre's shipment has arrived. <laughs> Ken Masters. <laughs> and how are you? Oh, that's great. Now listen. I was wondering if you've got anything planned for dinner this evening. Yes, I want to discuss something with you. Urgently. Thank you. And you. That is terrific. I haven't seen much of you since you came back. I thought we might have a talk. Edward tells me that the Hudsons aren't going to give William up too easily. No. I'm sorry. But I'm sure with his support it'll soon work out. Hopefully. And that you and Polly are getting on really well these days? She's changed. I've noticed. She seems much more content since she came into the boutique. It's probably just what she needed, a career. Yes. Well, it certainly did wonders for me. Here, let me give you a hand. Oh, thank you. And then we better go down and join Edward before all the guests arrive. John, can I ask you some advice? Yes, of course. Charles Freer. Yes. I'm not sure how to handle the situation. Edward isn't really helping matters either. He doesn't think it's a good idea for me to meet Charles. And what do you think? A part of me wants to just block him out of my life altogether, but... Well, I don't think it would hurt for us to meet. And I do have a... a need. Well, then meet him. How do you think Edward will react? It doesn't matter how he reacts. You have to do what you believe is right. And if that's meeting Charles, then arrange it. Yeah, I already have. telling me about those shots you took of common cherry. So, next time I go to the races to watch my namesake run, perhaps you can come along with your camera. Thank you. Today. 
Well, I think perhaps I'd better go and mingle. Steer Jan away from Tom Howard. It's got to be someone I know behind the break-in, Tom. I can just feel it. Oh, who else knew about the distribution deal? Mother? Polly? No, it's certainly not Kate. It wouldn't be Polly. Wouldn't it? Oh, Jan, looking lovelier than ever. Oh, thank you. Good to see you again, Tom. Sir John. I think Edward wants to make a little speech. Anyway, we've been summoned. I'd uh, better rescue Emma from the press. What's the matter? Huh? What? Oh, come on, my dear. Don't try and play the innocent with me. I know you're worried about something. It can't be Avril because she's recovering. Well, there's no problem with Avril. Is it the yard, then? The problem is Tom. And what is Tom supposed to have done now? Well, he's only hired some computer genius who should be building spaceships. Not boats. Emma, how enchanting you're looking. Thank you, Kate. Ladies and gentlemen, may I take this opportunity of welcoming you all to Highfield and of celebrating the start of my drive to bring the America's Cup to England. Yeah, yeah. To a new home in Tarrant. <laughs> I would like you to join with me in drinking a toast to someone who hopefully will help me in all the final winning celebrations. Your hostess of today's party and my future wife. To you, Jan, and our happiness together. What a beautiful view. It is, isn't it? On a clear day, you can see all the way to Walker's Point. Well, you've done very well since I last saw you. You haven't done so badly yourself, by the sounds of it. How did the meeting go yesterday? Just as planned. So Jan won't be bouncing back too easily after the break-in, then? Nope. Pity, really. I can't see why anyone should have anything against her. Least of all you. Are you all set to leak the problem to the international trade press? Everything's set and ready to go. Now I've received your payment. Good. I want Jan Howard to be taught a very expensive lesson, Antonia. One she'll never forget.